first comic come to the stage, and I want you to get your energy up. This whole show is going to be awesome. This guy just got back from a national tour. He's a local comic. Give it up for Jacob Erdman. Give it up for Dad. <laughs> That's right, though. My name is Jacob Erdman, but my preferred last name is Erdem or Erdey. Please respect my wishes. That's a pronoun joke, y'all. Believe it or not, that joke does not work below the Mason Dixon. <laughs> I was doing a show in Birmingham and they're like, what the fuck is a pronoun, libtard? <laughs> Whoa, dude, take it easy. It's just a joke. Let's go storm the Capitol. And they're like, yeah, fuck yeah, Earth them, let's do this. <laughs> so you just gotta get at their level. No parent should ever outlive their children, according to the Menendez brothers. Oh. <laughs> you guys remember those guys? <laughs> That's a just for me joke, I love that joke. <laughs> so I wrote another book about my penis, titled Long Story Short. It's canonical, it's fine, it's another book. Uh, the other day my partner was going down on me and she asked if it was in yet. So that was rude. A lot of diction. <laughs> no, my penis and, and Mount Rushmore have a lot in common. I also thought it would be bigger. <laughs> Just like, that's it, that's what we're working with here, that's fun. So uh, it's, a, it's a political season happening right now. Some sort of elections are going on and I was driving home from a show in Lincoln, Nebraska and I was listening to the NPRs because that's how old I am. I preface everything with the and I pluralize everything. The Walmarts, the Kmarts, the NPRs. And the, uh, the NPRs informed me that if Nebraska legalizes marijuana, nine out of 10 employees will go to work high. And I thought, whoa, that's a low number. <laughs> because marijuana is currently illegal in Nebraska and nine out of 10 employees are going to work high. <laughs> and who the fuck is that one guy not going to work high? <laughs> that Daryl, that Chad, that Kevin, fuck that guy. I bet that motherfucker hangs out with that one dentist who says Crest white strips don't whiten your teeth. <laughs> Fuck those people. Bad news. But yeah, I was driving back from Nebraska and uh, Google asked me a very uh, important question. Jacob, would you like to extend your trip through Nebraska by five hours by going down to Kansas? I was like, yes, Google, I would. You guys ever been to Kansas? Fucking scenic. <laughs> Beautiful country. You got Topeka, Wichita, Kansas City, Missouri. Beautiful. <laughs> so many fucking Hayes, Kansas. There we go. Let's start saying cities in Kansas. Let's do this. Let's rest my time. Just everybody. <laughs> Just name it off cities of shitty states. No, no. I was, uh, <laughs> I was driving through Kansas, and uh, I read a billboard that informed me that babies grow fingernails 13 weeks after conception. And I thought to myself, thank God, a pro-abortion billboard. <laughs> because who the fuck wants to have a kid with that knowledge in their head? 13 weeks, that means when you give birth to that fucking baby, that's gonna have six months of fingernail growth? <laughs> six months? Six months of goddamn finger, six months a finger and toenail growth, you're giving birth to fucking Wolverine? <laughs> Six months. Six months. Of, it, it's, it's crazy to me. It's crazy that when, like, have you ever seen a baby's fingernails? They're like puppy teeth. They're fucking dangerous. Ba babies' fingernails are so dangerous that they gotta put gloves on them right after they're born or they'll gouge their own fucking eyes out and you want that in your uterus? <laughs> Six months? Are you kidding me? That's like giving birth to some Howard Hughes-type baby 
with jars of urine and a spruce goose shirt on. Turns out it was a pro-life billboard. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. But uh, COVID was pretty weird for me. It was, uh, it was a weird spot for me. Um, during COVID, I found out I'm a biological father. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone ever says they have biological kids, stay away from them. It's fucking red flags. But before you, uh, before you judge me too harshly, you got to understand that um, during my early 30s, I donated sperm for a number of years. Because I figure if I can't give it away, I might as well sell it. <laughs> it's capitalism, baby. That's what we do here. They say if you're really good at something, never do it for free. They also say that it takes 10,000 hours to master any discipline. Day two, I was a masturbator. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one more and I'm going to get out of here. Um, me and my friend, uh, me and dad were uh, day drinking the other day. And uh, fucking looks over at me. He's like, Jacob, do you think that you're addicted to alcohol? And I was like, <laughs> what? Define addiction. And he did. And I am. That's my time, you guys. Thank you so much.